Hey friends, my name is Catherine and I am a self-contained special education teacher in Texas. I am also a certified child life specialist and I thought I would share my task box system for this upcoming school year. This is not my original idea. I am part of a Facebook group for self-contained elementary teachers in K through five. And there's this wonderful teacher, her name is Stacy Lynn. And she shared a little bit in March about her system and I was just blown away, it's awesome. And all I could think of was goals. And there was no possible human way to make this mid-year, um, but it's a great summer project for anyone who's looking to just do something different. Um, I am going to share a view only file of my Google Sheet with the ideas. Um, I've got about 26 or so, uh, and then the subject area. Some are just simply life skills, some are integrated math or science, um, so you get the point. Uh, for reference, I did not include um, link, direct links to the TPT sites and stores um, where the products are purchased from, but honestly, uh, I tried to use as much as possible that I already had and not to go out and buy stuff from TPT. And then I made a couple of things on Google Slides, but the majority of it, um, well, all of it really is from TPT or things I already had. So without further ado, let's just jump in. So the way I organize my task boxes is I just get slider bags from Target and I write what it is, and I this year I well, since it's all new task forms that I'm doing, I went ahead and put the label in there. Um, so hopefully it'll just be as easy as putting the contents in the shoe box, the plastic shoe box, and taping the label on there and be good to go. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna set this up for my students. They might have like a folder with their assigned tasks in it, or I might put it on the wall. Not sure, but I'll let you know. And I will post a picture when it's finished in my room. Um, just somewhere, can't get it right now. So this first task is rolled silverware, which the bag is obviously empty, but I have all the supplies at school. Um, so just a life still there. This one is Papa John's. And uh, this activity I got from CPT, it's simply fractions. So, how many parts are in the pizza? Each card has a different task, and there is a recording sheet, which will be dry erase for the student. Um, I have kids that are level one, two, and three in my classroom who use unique learning. So, all of the labels I made on Board Wizard from unique learning. John's. Basically, this will be taped on the box, and then the Velcro will be taped on their schedule as to what they need to complete. Typically, I start with one box at the beginning of the year, and then um, we're probably up to two or three boxes, depending on the kiddo. This one is called Pet Store, and I had the pets unit from Made for Me Literacy. And it's simply choosing, you know, looking at the habitat and then putting the corresponding critter that goes in that habitat. So we have Chick fil A, which is everyone's favorite. I just made these on Google Slides just with the cloud. A, a box and it says on there market salad, waffle fries, uh, and then I just have little um, on board wizard made little icons of waffle fries and nuggets and chicken sandwiches. You know, some of the things are already on there um, to use. So, fun one, just a sorting task. And I also have Target, because who doesn't own Target? Another sorting task where the, thing, the boxes are just labeled, like cart. And these were, I think, free, maybe a buck, 
um, for the little icons. They're just drawings, um, like cold coffee, hot coffee, cart. I thought these were fun. I try to do things that are fun um, and things that are relatable to kids. This one is called Shopping List, and I got this from a friend of mine. She got it on TPT. I think it's part of a bigger bundle. Um, but it's for my level three kiddos that has on the side what you know they're looking for on the list. And then real life environmental print stuff you'd see at Kroger, Walmart. Um, you just match the appropriate item to what's on the shopping list. There's that. I also have nutrition labels, which was part of that same set. This is more detail oriented, definitely for a level three kiddo. And you're asking them to read this label and then how many calories, how many carbohydrates, from the information on this card, and then it has matching Velcro pieces. This is called Using the Right Tools. Um, like what tool would you use to wash the dishes? And then you would find the corresponding tool you would use. These are also great, you know, your task cards can sometimes um, work to cover some of these areas. And the bins, by the way, um, I got these bins from Walmart. Uh, the teacher prior to had a bunch of them, which was nice. And then I just kind of supplemented because I'm one of those nerdy people who likes things to all be in the same type of bins. They stock easily. Okay. Uh, this one was fun to make. I saw it on Pinterest. Um, you could easily make it without buying the, um, the set that goes with it for the icons, but it's called. Uh, counting seeds, and I wanted to get one of these seeds, but I could not find any. Um, so I got just garbanzo beans dried from Target for a dollar, and then I used little library pockets to put on the seeds. So basically, they're going to count out this one says 12 seeds, and they're going to put the 12 seeds inside there. Obviously, I need to tape it around a little bit better so it won't get ripped off. My kids are pretty good about not tearing stuff up. Um, and if they do, it's okay. Well, not great. It's okay. Fun one. This one is fun. This one is old baby clothes. I actually had a dramatic play area last year where they were holding baby clothes. So this, I used preemie clothes for this one. Um, the idea is all the buttons would be undone or the zippers, and so they would have to use their fine motor skills to put the outfit back together, um, which is great for hand-eye coordination, you know, practicing everyday life tasks, those kinds of things. They really liked it um, when it was a dramatic play area, so I'm hoping it's the same reaction this year. And I only put a total of outfits in the tassel. Alright. This one is called coupon clipping, and I just got coupons that come in the junk mail, um, and I'll put a pair of scissors in there. An easier task for a level one or level two kiddo, they can do independently. Uh, this is another task that I have at school, sorting silverware. Um, I have little uh, skinny containers, um, and they need to sort the silverware, fork, spoon, knife. Kind of thing. Another level one task. 
coin sort. Um, I have, it was a couple of years ago, Target Dollar Spot Back to School had a little square container that was divided into four sections. And so I'm going to print off the icons from Board Wizard and have it labeled Penny Nickel Dime Quarter and then a separate box of coins. And they'll just be sorting. That's another life skill, math skill one. Matching socks. I have all my socks here at school, so I'll just put them in here to keep everything together. Okay, cash register. I was excited about this one. I was thinking, well, you know, what cash register can I get that will fit in the shoe box and the kids won't break it? Um, and I guess Target heard my my wish in my head because that dollar spot right now they have little cash registers and they're cardboard and they're pretty substantial cardboard. Um, but I, when I get back to school, I'm gonna exchange. Is the money they have in here is not. You know, your basic money you might get from a basic $3 item, it's not the money that I want my kids to really get familiar with, so I'll switch out the money with my play money that looks pretty realistic. And so they'll be basically uh, creating a cash drawer with this. Now, this probably won't fit in the task box either, but I can put it in here to the side and it still will be an option for them. I was excited about that. And then here's the icon. I, there's so much to learn about computers and you know with the COVID year I learned a lot about computers but I just recently figured out how to make things smaller. So this is from File Folder Heaven. It's the food, food pyramid. Um, I guess I need to make a label for it. But I just made everything miniature so that it would fit. Um, that was, that was kind of like a game changer for me. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out how to shrink an image. But um, in your print area, you'll say like 97% print. And I just made it like 60. And I was... I'm amazed how the time. Uh, this one's called Home Sort. And I use this icon, like a dollhouse. And it's basically just tax cards. Um, like what room does this belong in the wheelbarrow? And then you would, a kid would put on there, like the yard. Um, and there's different ones, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen. There's a lot of task cards in here, so I would take out maybe 10 or 15. Okay, so this is Taco Bell, which is great for a level one learner um, because it is picture based. This one includes a menu of the items. Level one, level two, level three, kiddo. Um, but there are things on here right now. I would probably put maybe five of these um, and have just sorting. And then I would, you know, switch it out. Um, so it's something that's always new. You don't ever want to put like this entire bag into a box because it's really overwhelming for a kiddo. Um, but it's fun. And then if they go to Taco Bell, then they can kind of be a little more familiar with the items there. Same thing, here's McDonald's. Um, this one is uh, it's all separate. There's like drinks. And then they also have it separated into entrees where it's labeled. And then under the label, even that has the picture right up here, it's not a picture, it's just chicken sandwich. So the kid would have to look back um, up here at the top to see what it is might be the chicken sandwich. Um, so that would definitely be a reader, so a level two or level three kiddo. Same with Burger King. Um, Burger King has it by, this is the desserts. The Burger King actually has a picture behind the Velcro 
um, this Sunday, and then you would match the Sunday. So this could be accessible also for a level one, maybe a merging to level two kid. One is counting candles. This is a level one tab. My uh, icon looks like this, the birthday cake, and it's a closed pin task. They're simply counting the candles on the cake and clipping the right pin on there. And the way I store my tasks, I try to have all the materials in there already, so it's just ready to go. So I already have the closed pins and I've cracked them out. This one is traffic signs, and this again is from File Folder Heaven, and it's simply matching, identical matching the signs. There's a couple of different ones in here. Just pick out a couple for the first quarter, or the first nine weeks, um, and then switch it out. That way you're not having to reinvent your task box, you're just switching out with stuff you've already made. Okay, so this one is a level one task, but also great fine motor. So it is, I named it Locks and Keys. Um, which you could do the Lakeshore Locks if you wanted to, uh, if you have kiddos that might eat something. Um, I got sets of colored locks off of Amazon with little keys. Um, so obviously they're color coded here. And I also have a larger lock that I found in my closet um, for this activity. Good fine motor thing. This is a floor match and um, it's different uh, storefronts of the same store. No, it's the same one. Some of them are different, I think. Anyway, like Dairy Queen, and then you would match that to the corresponding card. So there we go. It has Dairy Queen. You find all the storefronts for Dairy Queen and you put them on the card. So that's a fun task there. And the icon looks like Right, this was a more intensive one just because I had to get the supplies off of Amazon and it was a lot of prep. Um, but you can see by the package, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm not going to take it apart because I think it'll all fall out of there. But this is called Test Kit Patterns. So I ordered these off of Amazon. They're plastic. Um, and then the idea is they follow the, the card set and they make patterns. And so this is the uh, icon card that goes on the outside the box. And there's all kinds of pom-poms in there. And there's several different sets ranging um, in difficulty. So that's a good one. This is one of the ones that um, Stacy Lynn had in hers. All paint sorts. And I simply went to Home Depot and got paint chip samples um, like this. So it's a little bit more advanced than just the basic colored ones. Um, so it's just matching to the right shade here. Alright. Oh, and for your readers, um, they would be able to read the back and match accordingly. Like this one says tint of green. So if they're really curious, they could go back on the on the back is where it has the writing and they can put on their which matches. Okay. Okay, so we got a couple more left. Um, I really like this one. I think the child life specialist in me loves band-aids and lots of colored band-aids. So I went to the dollar spot and got a couple of different uh, kinds of band-aids. I'm a nerd. I'm going to show you all the ones I got. The Crayola, 
Um, Blue's Clues, Ryan's World, Jurassic World, and just the Target Up Net brand, but it had a lot of fun colors on there. So what I do is I take the box completely and shipping tape, and then I got small pieces of Velcro to take the top. And the idea is, this lovely bag, I laminated, took the band-aid out of their wrapper, but not the adhesive side, and laminated them, and they're very durable. Um, and the idea is the kids to sort the band-aids into the proper containers. And I, I think it's fun. And uh, the icon is like this, band-aid sort. Okay. And then this is for level three kiddo. This is called sign meetings, and you would need uh, some post pins. This one says new, and you have to put the matching corresponding word there. And this is the first responders and I see myself switching out this task um, it's kind of once the kiddos get bored with it my icon card uh, I just used something I already had in a made for me literacy bundle uh, community helpers so it lists the icons and what do they do and then you match the proper icon to it um, I kind of did a generic base just because I wanted to keep it fresh Uh, I love the book Freight Train, and this was actually an assort on TPT where it was, um, you were like matching colors, and my kids are really beyond the matching color stage, but I love the images, so I sized them down, um, has all the original um, illustrations by Donald Cruz, and I Car. So it's basically non-identical matching to the right uh, one. So the idea is they'd find, uh, let's see here, right. here's the blue gondola car, and they would clip, clip it on like that. And there's a bag full of different ones here. I'm excited. I love trains. And um, here's the icon card there. So there's that one. And then I've got one more. And this is just um, holding washcloth. And I got this from. So, yeah, those are my task boxes. I hope. It maybe inspires somebody out there if they're stuck and can't figure out what to do. Um, it took me a while to figure out what I was going to do with this. And then when I, once I started thinking about it, it just the ideas kind of came. So anyway, hope you have a great school year and hopefully it's easier than last year. Bye guys.